Hello. So, welcome to the special New Year's video. So, New Year's is getting very close. I'm currently recording this at like 11.48 p.m. before New Year's, and I'm not exactly sure when I'll release it, but I want to do a special New Year's video. And I was gonna do it like as a Royal High video, but then I thought, you know what? I might do this vlog style because I think it's going to be a lot better this way. So, let's recap a little bit of 2022 to start this video off. So, 2022 was an amazing year and my channel grew a lot. Like, near nearest towards like the end of the year. I think it started growing quite a bit, like in August or something like that, which I wasn't expecting, but it happened. Look at this cute little unicorn. That's my little friend that you probably see in a lot of vlogs. Um, <clears throat> I am planning to do more like vlogs every now and then. That way you guys can see me sometimes. So... Yeah, that might be an exciting thing for 2023. Um, but yeah, there were just some exciting parts of 2022. And I honestly can't remember everything, but there were definitely a lot of special memories. And there were also hard times. Don't we love hard times in life? Absolutely not. But <laughs> they happen. So, you know... I had a lot of great moments of 2022, and I'm so, so thankful for how amazing that 2022 was, but there was hard points. I did go through a breakup, and that was not easy, but to those of you that have ever been through breakups, or maybe you're starting out dating, if you ever go through a breakup, there's some, a lot of times... There is a lesson that you can learn in it about your self-worth or whatever it may be. And just know that you deserve good things in life and you deserve to be happy. And if something wasn't making you happy, then reconsider um, not having that thing in your life or whatever it is. Because you being happy is more important than dating someone, which that's not exactly how the breakup was, but um, I did realize a lot of things after it. So I don't want to talk too much about that, but 2022 was an amazing year. I There were just a lot of special moments, whether it was in real life or when it comes to online friends or whatever it may be, there were just special moments and I definitely cherish those. Now, when it comes into 2023, by the way, I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas. In my Christmas haul video, I talked about how my Christmas definitely didn't go as planned. I got very sick with the flu. Um, my sister got pretty sick, but she recovered pretty fast. My We didn't get to like, really see family or anything, so that sucked. And my dad got really sick, and he had to go to the hospital. So that wasn't fun at all. Um, but yeah, besides the kind of rough spots of 2022... I'm definitely thankful for all the good times. I'm so thankful for all the presents that I got for Christmas and for my birthday and all these special happy moments. Um, but when it comes to 2023, I'm planning to get into fitness and start to do that every day starting on the first day of 2023. <laughs> I'm really planning to get into that because I was into it for like a while and I was probably doing it for like a month or something. And then I was just like, eh, I'm kind of bored of this. But I really want to get into it again because it's so important to be active and have a healthy body. 
and not just be playing video games all the time. So that is something that I definitely want to try to do. I'm sorry that I never have a very good angle when I'm doing vlog stuff, but you know, it's all good. It's all right. Um, and in 2023, I do also hope to reach at least 10,000 subscribers. I know that that's a big stretch, but I'm hoping that if I just really work hard on my channel in 2023 and like improve thumbnails even more than I already have been working to improve them, then I'm really hoping to um, reach that goal. Because I know it's not impossible. I know that I can hopefully do it. Um, but yeah, that would be something that I'm really, really hoping for my channel in 2023. Is to see a lot of growth. And like, same thing when it comes to my Discord server. I would love to see a lot of growth in it. And that would make me really happy to see a lot of growth. Um, I'm just really hoping for 2023 to be the year. And to be a great year. That's amazing and just awesome. Um, and I'm so thankful for you guys and your support. Um, anytime that I needed breaks, like, you guys were understanding. And you didn't say, like, post. Like, you know, maybe that's because you just don't really care. Or <laughs> maybe some of you just don't really care. But... I know that some did care, but they gave me time to recover mentally or physically, whatever it was. And I just appreciated all those times in 2022. And I know that there will be a lot of you guys that will be amazingly supportive in 2023 as well. And I'm just so thankful for all of you. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say, but I'm just so looking forward to the new year and starting fresh. I've already prepared my channel, made a new banner, an icon, because I just feel this need to make it look all fresh for the new year. I changed it a bit early, which felt weird because I was feeling like, no, I got to change it on New Year's Day. But then I was like... You know, just change it a little early. It'll be fine because I want to prepare and just be fully ready for the new year. So, yeah. Um, and I am planning to change up a few things about the channel. Don't worry. Roblox content is not going anywhere. I just want to try to make the channel better um, and try to make content better for you guys. Um, but yeah, I love you guys, and I hope that you have an amazing 2023, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!